Before we start installing the script, let me quickly show you the front end and the demo, the back end of the website. Now, you can see we have instructor panel, so let me open it. So this instructor, so login. Now you can see the front end of the website. Very cool, very nice, you can see. So these are the website we look like when we finish installing the script. Now you can see, anyone like this, like this one. Now the script will look exactly like this. So here we go. For example, if we click on, let me click on this. As you can see, so this is how it will look like when you install the script. So you can click here to preview, you can see. Now let us quickly install the script. Here we go. But before that, we have instructor panel, we have a panel, course front end and student panel. So let's start installing the script now. Now go to your public HTML or any way you want to install the script. I want to install the script here, so let me click on upload. But before you do that, you need to create database and use that to use. So let me quickly do that from my back end back end here. So my SQL databases. The name of the database I want to use, let me use let me just use uh, academy. So you need to save it somewhere. So let's keep this thing somewhere. So I keep it here. That is my database name. After you've done that, you create user. So let me create a user here. So let me call it root 10. Then generate password. So this is our password. Copy the user. Now you need to add the user to the database. So the database will turn and my database academy. So you need to add it like this. All privileges. All privileges. So click on save. Now you are done. Go back to the place you install the script. So let us upload our script now. Now the script is uploaded. You extract it. So there's a this is the one I, I uploaded, so let me remove it. Why this is the one I extract? So let us extract this one again. This is the file. Now, this is our file. So go to our website. Our website will be web creator slash um, slash demo. So we want to start installing it, continue. So on this place, put demo one, one, one. Now what is the database name we created? Database name, this is it. What about the username? This is our username. The password. Database host, that's your local host. Install. Install. So you can see, so it's installing. Now, install successfully. Now, what we did, you can see the name of your application, so let me just use Academy Elements. You add me, so let me use add me. Let's just add me demo. What about the password? Add me at gmail.com. Uh, the email, so this is password. Let's use add me. So we are done. Now, after you've done that, you need to click on login. So let me log in to add me here. Add me. You can see this is admin. Now let us check our front end. This is front end. Click on this place to check the front end. You can see the front end. Very cool. Very nice. 
So all you need, there is no cause. You can see nothing shows here. You can see nothing shows here. So it's not your re responsibility to add more content to it. So if you add content to it, it will look exactly like this. You can see the website. This one has many content. So you can see it has many content. These are your website that will look like when you add when you start adding content like causes the students and other things. So after you've done this, you can see we have settings. These are the way the script works. Now check the descri uh, description of my video below. You see a link to download the script. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, you can still reach me. I have my my messenger below, so you can click on it and reach me on Facebook Messenger. Thanks for watching.